Meet Droid, the new number one software development agent on Terminal Bench, the gold standard benchmark from Stanford and Laude Institute, with a staggering 58.8% success rate across 80 real-world tasks, from building Linux kernels to securing web servers. Droid didn't just compete, it dominated. We will set up the Droid agent with Z.AI's GLM 4.6 that has coding plan that supercharge your dev workflow, starting at just $3 per month, powered by GLM 4.6, a state-of-the-art open source model with a massive 200K token context window. It's built for real coding. Compared to other plans that cost 10 times more and throttle your usage, Z.AI gives you three times the value and continuous access, even on the light plan. First things first, we need to get Droid installed. It's a one-liner command, so it's super easy. In your PowerShell window, type the following command and press Enter. As the installation starts, you'll see it downloading and installing the necessary files. This process should only take a moment. Once the installation finishes, you might see a message about adding the installation directory to your system path. This is crucial so your computer knows where to find the Droid executable. Great! Now, close your current PowerShell window and open a new one to apply these changes. With the new PowerShell window open, it's finally time to launch Droid. Simply type Droid and press Enter as the Droid splash screen appears. Ah, there it is, the iconic Droid logo. It's going to ask you to log in or create an account. Just follow the on-screen instructions to authenticate via your... To add other custom models, you can do so by create and editing configuration file. Navigate to the .factory folder in your user directory and create and open the config.json file. Add glm4, custom underscore models section, and save the file. Go back to terminal and run Droid. You will find our new model in list. As the model selection menu opens, perfect. You can see a list of all available models. Look for glm4.6 custom. Use your arrow keys to highlight it and then press enter to select it. Excellent. The top right corner now shows GLM 4.6. Custom. Confirming our model is active. Let's make sure everything is working perfectly. Waiting for the response. And here comes the reply from GLM 4.6. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a like. Got questions or want to share your thoughts? Drop them in the comments below. I read every single one. See you in the next video.